The Minnesota Wild hosting the Philadelphia Flyers and the Wild are minus 280 on the money line. The Flyers are plus 230. The over-under is six and a half goals. The Flyers getting a goal and a half are minus 105. And the Wild laying a goal and a half are minus 115. Now, mind you, it's 3.30 in the morning here in Vegas. These lines are going to continue to change. And according to the app behind me, this game has already changed a little bit. Now, the Flyers are on a two-game losing streak. They are 3-7 and seven in their past 10 games. And in those games where they were an underdog and could not lose the game by two, getting a goal and a half, they are 4-5. and five. And you can see the scores of the Flyers' last five games beneath me. Now, the Wild are on a six-game winning streak. They are 8-2 and two in their past 10 games. In those games where they were a favorite and had to win the game by two, minus a goal and a half, they are 4-5. and five. Head-to-head, the Wild are on a two-game winning streak against the Flyers. The Flyers are 6-4 and four in their past 10 meetings against the Wild, and the over 6.5 is 3-1 and one in their past four meetings. Two out of the previous three games that these teams have played between each other have been decided by one goal. So I'm going to hedge my bets here a little bit. I'm going to take the Wild with the money line, the Flyers with the goals, and the over 6.5. I mean, honestly, you're getting better value betting the Flyers getting a goal and a half than you are betting the Wild with the money line anyway. So let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm wrong.